wasn't over. It still isn't over. Come on, you guys, admit it. At one point or another, we've all wished for a take your breath away romance like we've seen on the big screen. And though it might be hard to accept the fact that romance isn't necessarily like that or achievable in real life, or is it? Either way, it doesn't stop us from totally swooning. With that being said, we're here to give you 11 movie couples we absolutely adore. So let's fall in love and get this show on the road. Taking the number 11 spot on our list is a love that will literally never die. Edward Cullen and Bella Swan from The Twilight Saga. We're big fans, but we gotta point out that this relationship might not be the healthiest one we've ever seen. And I, I wanna kill you so much. Every single day, every moment I'm with you, I desperately wanted to kill you. And she's like, I don't care, I love you. And it's like, well, <laughs> there's definitely something wrong with her, and there's very obviously something wrong with me. These lovers would do anything for each other, so you gotta give them props for that, right? Moving right along to the number 10 spot on our list, it's another dysfunctional yet uber-loving twosome, Noah and Allie from The Notebook. Things were never really easy for these two star-crossed lovers. Allie was a little rich girl, while Noah was a bad boy from the wrong side of the tracks. However, they couldn't help but fall in love with each other, even though they drove the other crazy. And to top it all off, they were torn apart by her parents, only to be reunited years later when Allie was on the verge of marriage marrying someone else. So what? So it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be really hard. And we're gonna have to work at this every day, but I wanna do that because I want you. I want all of you forever. You and me, every day. <laughs> yeah, after a declaration like that, the sob seems pretty darn accurate. And speaking of star-crossed lovers, coming in at number nine is the original star-crossed couple, Romeo and Juliet. There have been countless adaptations of this famous play over the years, but none has left its mark quite like the Boz Lerman take starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. Uh, we rest our case. In fact, it's really depressing that they die in the end. And if you think that's a spoiler, someone needs to brush up on their Shakespeare. Come on, guys, you've only had like centuries to catch up on this one. Snagging the number eight spot on our list is a love for the modern ages. We're talking about Katniss and Peeta from The Hunger Games. Now, their love is quite unique because not only is there a love triangle element to it, we see you, Gail, we see you, but Katniss is a strong female character who's trying to figure out how love works in her life as she's the symbol of a rebellion against the government. However, at the end of the day, Peeta loves her and she loves Peeta and they would do anything for each other. I need you. <laughs> I just have something in my eye, okay? Up next at seven, we've got Will and Ronnie in The Last Song. Mostly because it's a Nicholas Sparks book turn movie and duh, the actors actually fell in love in real life while they were on the set. And if that doesn't catch your interest, you hate love. We love seeing Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth playing two youngins who find themselves in a sweet, sexy summer romance. Everybody needs a soul. We can totally see why they ended up falling for each other. Though in real life, I don't have to be the one to tell you that they didn't actually end up getting their own happily ever after. It's kind of awkward, right? Similar to Miley and Liam, Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone ended up falling in love on and off screen thanks to the amazing Spider-Man. Again, it's very easy to see why these two fell for each other. The chemistry is unreal. And even though, spoiler alert, Gwen Stacy dies in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the love that these two share on screen is beautiful, funny, exciting, and just so much more. My emotions are overwhelmed right now. 
Coming in at number five on our list is Becca and Jesse from Pitch Perfect. You know what they say, the couple that sings a cappella together stays together, or at least I think that's what they say. Actually, they don't say it at all, but for today's story, they totally say it. And even though Becca might have been resistant to Jesse's initial attempts at wooing her, all of which were so adorable, by the way, that picnic with the juice boxes, get out of here, Jesse. So Becca eventually warmed up to him and well. I told you, endings are the best part. You're such a weirdo. The rest is history. P.S. Can we just give her props for making the first move? Get it, girl. All right, getting down to the wire here. Taking the number four spot on our countdown seems pretty appropriate. It's Four and Tris from Divergent. There are plenty of things to love about these two, but one of our favorite things is how open and honest they are with each other. Four isn't afraid to let Tris know his innermost fears, and they are ready to take on the world together. Quite literally, they're part of a rebellion against their government. Yeah, nothing is sexier than a government takedown, am I right? Okay, so we hope you guys are emotionally stable enough to discuss the number three couple on our list. It's Gus and Hazel from The Fault in Our Stars. Honestly, I'm not really sure even how to begin this because of all the emotions these two make us feel. We laugh, we cry, then we cry some more. There is arguably no love more pure than the one that grows between these two. The way Gus woos Hazel and how she eventually gives in even though she's a strong individual and even though their love ended prematurely, he gave her forever within the numbered days. I cannot tell you how thankful I am. Our little infinity. Oh, I just, there are no words. Speaking of grand love stories cut tragically short, Jack and Rose from Titanic take the two spot on our list. So when Jack and Rose meet aboard the ill-fated ship, she's a bored debutante literally about to hurl herself off the boat while he's a struggling artist who ends up saving her life. Eventually the two bond and he teaches her that there's more to life than money and status. However, things really go south for them when the ship hits an iceberg and they're stranded in the middle of the ocean. We think you know how this one ends. I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> well, right now we have a ton of shout outs for awesome silver screen lovers. Don't forget to post a comment below with your number one pick. Okay, so honorable mentions go to Troy and Gabriella from High School Musical, Zach and Lainey, She's All That, Jake Ryan and Sam from 16 Candles. Whoa, that's a blast from the past. They might not even be dating, but we love Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill in 21 Jump Street and the sequel. Oh, and then there's Ben and Andy, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, followed by Summer and Tom, Depressing in 500 Days of Summer, and another big shout out to Cher and Josh in Clueless. And last, but certainly not least, the number one movie couple we absolutely love, Ron and Hermione from Harry Potter. Now, one of the main reasons we love these two so much is that audiences really got to see the relationship develop over the course of many, many years. The two were best friends and truly grew up together, sharing the good, the bad, and the scary. However, neither Ron nor Hermione had the guts to confess their love to the other until they had a near-death experience, that is. That kiss was seriously like 10 years in the making. Worth the wait, if you ask us. And with that brings our epic conclusion to this movie couples countdown. Do you agree with our picks? Or maybe there's a couple of couples you would have liked to see make the cut. Get the conversation going in the comment section below, then click right over here to find out where the cast of Harry Potter is now. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button for everything clever news and so much more. I'm your girl Dana Ward, thanks so much for taking this journey with us. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.